Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. And I am so glad you are here today with me. And you know we're going to talk about something and everything. We're going to get into it. But I just wanted to say hello and hopefully each and every one of you all are doing fantastic. Welcome back. That's the next thing I have to tell y'all. Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back to the channel. Me you had to come over here. No, sure did. But you were like, let me go see what they're talking about. I know she ain't talking about nothing but a piece of shit. But it's something. And I'm going to go on over there and get me my, li my little kikis and my little ha-has. Okay? But don't forget, as you come into the house, or if you're when you leave in the house, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Come off that fence. Come off that curb. Come from in the bushes. Just come on into the house. And I say welcome to my YouTube family. Okay? But as we always have to say, like, share, and subscribe, and comment. You know I like the comments. Even though y'all be coming for a sister, but it is what it is. That is my channel. Okay? That's my original channel. And this is my second channel. All right? We need you all to go over there, do your thing, uh, subscribe to the channel so we continue to grow. All right? But we know we have to use this fair disclaimer act. Everything we doing over here is alleged. Alleged, alleged, alleged. Get it into your mind. Everything you're hearing over here at the house is alleged. Okay? Mm-hmm. Because we don't know nothing to be factual because we too sorry to go into it. No, just to go in into investigating the situation. Unless it's just one thing that just, you know, just picking at me, just gnawing at me. And I have to go see it for myself. But then that would be an exclusive. Okay? So, we don't get too much into those. But you know we got to have a talk. We got to have a conversation. We got to get into it. Because this person that we're going to be talking about. Child. <laughs> Child, I can't keep it undercover any longer. We got to talk about it. We got to have a conversation. And why don't we get right on into it? Okay, we got uh, some guy named Vic. Uh, he's a part of the drill community. Um, and we got DJ Academics. He is giving his perspective on the drill and its meaning and everything and this guy named Vic is just tearing into his behind like he said you don't you didn't have a right to have an opinion about you know being a drill or being a part of the drill what's part of what the drill is I was saying it's something about cop, cop killing people no I don't know I don't know but we're gonna listen to him because like I said he is definitely um uh, Oh, they're rappers that end up telling them about how they live their life in the streets. That's what I got. What a drill is. Y'all know what a drill is? Get down in the comments and say, Dale, you were right. You are, you on the right uh, street. You don't have to veer off. But like I said, this guy named Vic is just tearing into him. And, you know, I, I guess he had the promise when he came on the show he couldn't beat up uh, DJ Academics. So, you know, pin him up beside the wall or something. But he did say he would slap the shit out of him. I said, ooh, good God Almighty. And then the guy that was sitting on the panel, uh, I guess he was uh, the one that brought him on the show or asked him, could he come on the show so they can clear some matters up. And he said, Dad, well, I thought y'all were going to be doing all that. I would have sat in the seat that you are in, Vic. And they, they were just laughing, but Vic was serious. I was like, ooh, don't say nothing, DJ Academics, to the point where he was going to uh, mollywop you. But let's go on and listen to what Vic had to say. You in your face, honestly. And I'm just seeing you here. And I'm just seeing you here, so I slap you in your face, honestly. And I'm just seeing you here, so I'm like, this is a tame environment, so I would keep it to my words. But I really felt as if people exactly like you sensationalized and and made a following off of clowning situations that we go through in real life. And I, I think, you know, niggas ain't had no right. You know, you specifically, like you ain't never have a right. Like what ever made you feel like you had a, a space to have a perspective on our people dying on a daily basis? 
Okay, okay. Carrie's lessons. Okay. okay. So when I saw a drill, and and you could definitely chime in. When I saw a drill, drill was was so hyped up by everyone. I had to give a different perspective of what that was for people to realize that's not cool. And whether you agreed with it, right? And again, you're very close. You're involved in it. Um, Chief Keith didn't like me. Dirk didn't like me. I mean, I think they grew to understand that the content was not just negative. Right? No, it, was, it, was, honey, it was just negative, man. No, no, no. Like, come on, boy. Like, you don't think it was nothing constructive about it? There was nothing constructive about it. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I, I, I really I really think you're a bitch. Because... No. And what, what's that? Because... There's a video that that you put up about a person named Trey Fifty Seven making all these jokes. Oh, here's another Chirac Savage. Like this guy's stupid. He messed with the Grim Reaper. Like nigga, this is not a video game. That's a nigga I grew up with. I've known since I was five years old. And to see you come on the internet and like with this corny ass little voice and make jokes about it, like you know, I was waiting to see you. And it's a couple people waiting to see you. I heard you say you didn't want to come to Chicago when I sat down because you clearly don't because you no, really no, couldn't no. even stand outside. You get Not chased out wait, the mall. Wait, I do get love in Chicago though. Like, I mean, I mean, out I mean, the mall, I'm, DJ Academic. I mean, truth be told, there's a mixed reaction. You know, to you me. can't deal with that. You not Wait, you know, so you act like there's no love in me in Chicago? No. I, I wish I'd have known. And you need to. I wouldn't have put him in that seat. <laughs> <laughs> I would have sat there. No, no, no. I, 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 I'm not going to talk I, about I, real niggas. No, I'm from real places. How do you feel about it? I wanted to slap you in your face, honestly. And I'm just seeing you here, so I'm like, this is a tame environment, so I would keep it to my words. But I really felt as if people exactly like you sensationalized and and made a following off of clowning situations that we go through in real life and I, I think you know niggas ain't had no right you know you specifically like you ain't never have a right like whatever made you feel like you had a, a space to have a perspective on our people dying on a daily basis okay, so, so, okay. You. so when I saw a drill and and you could definitely chime in when I saw a drill, drill was was so hyped up by everyone. I had to give a different perspective of what that was for people to realize that's not cool. And whether you agreed with it, right? And again, you're very close. You're involved in it. Um, Chief Keith didn't like me. Dirk didn't like me. I mean, I think they grew to understand that the content was not just negative, right? No, it, was it, was, clowning. it was just negative, man. No, no, no. Like, come on, boy. Like, you I'm, don't think it was nothing constructive about it? There was nothing constructive about it. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I, I, I really I really think you're a bitch. Because... And what was that? Because there's a video that, that you put up about a person named Trey 57. Making all these jokes. Oh, here's another Chirac Savage. Like, this guy's stupid. He messed with the Grim Reaper. Like, nigga, this is not a video game. That's a nigga I grew up with. I've known since I was five years old. And to see you come on the internet and, like, with this corny ass little voice and make jokes about it, like, you know, I was waiting to see you. And it's a couple people waiting to see you. I heard you say you didn't want to come to Chicago when I sat down because you clearly don't because you no, really no, couldn't no. even stand outside. You get Not chased out wait, the mall. Wait, I do get love in Chicago though. Like, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, the mall, I'm, DJ Academic. I mean, truth be told, there's a mixed reaction. You know, you can't deal with that. You not you Wait, so you act like there's no love for me in Chicago? No. I, I wish I'd have known. And you need to. I wouldn't have put him in that seat. <laughs> <laughs> I would have sat there. No, no, no. I, 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 I,
is that what we control a little bit now? Um, but how I look at gangs, I, I put them uh, towards the government. The government made gangs. And, you know, I'm about to do a video on that sometime down the road. But, yeah, they wanted us to fight against ourselves and uh, fight against other cultures to keep everybody in line. Uh-huh. So, um, Vic came over and spoke his mind. I'm glad he didn't get a hold to uh, DJ Academics because that would have been something like an assault charge and you know he probably would have made bail but then that would have made him want to go even hard, harder to get DJ Academics so I mean really people have their perspectives on different things they have their viewpoints and a lot of us don't mean no harm we just felt that it was a, a conversation piece and since y'all my family I just come up here and talk to y'all you know what other bloggers do they do on their channel and most of the time it is respectful um, but that's all I got, y'all. I ain't got no more. And I will see you guys and ladies on the next video, okay? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I want to do it. Now, what you waiting on? Shoot. Bye-bye.